Welcome back to the Art Artie Lang Show. Adam Carolla here. We just watched a clip from the Man Show. Yeah. The fact that you don't remember that, like you're on the guy's show. Yeah. Did you? A I big know. fan. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> I think that's an empty compliment you paid out of me. I, yeah, I, I apologize. <laughs> and actually, a bit was, that was a very funny up. bit, though. Yeah, it, it was a great, it was a great dude, bit. You are hilarious. You oh, were thanks. hilarious. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I was laughing at you and with you. So what? The, what's afternoon. the Pat O'Brien? You're going to Pat O'Brien's. Well, the story is really just about, like, what an incredible mensch Jimmy, Jimmy is. Yeah, like, right. you know, and I think he figured out, look, let's not talk crap about all these guys. If I want them to come on my show, uh, invite look, them to the that, wedding. That is a very, very good uh, theory. And he's the most decent dude. But he's always been this way. Yeah, it's right. not like a Hollywood Jimmy. Yeah, no, it's I know. Always been, no, you he's could always tell been he's, that guy. You could tell he's not phony at all. And we, right. were, we were driving. And, you know, at least 13, 12, 13 years ago, I mean, you know, I've, I've been around Jimmy. He wasn't a star the yeah, whole time, sure. as you know from our meeting I mean, when your agent was telling him to hit the bricks. You, you know? guys were both very funny in the meeting, but it was really, and I want, I said, okay, I'll take these guys. And they were like, like at that point, I had more going on in show business than you Right. <laughs> Scary, <isn't it? laughs> Right. So we're driving up to Pat O'Brien's house, and it's his Christmas party, and we, like, get up, we're halfway up the hill, and Jimmy goes, Oh, we didn't bring him. We didn't bring him anything. And I said, well, what do you care? He's Pat O'Brien. He's got a triple gated community. He's <laughs> living large. Everything's going great for the guy. He's doing the Olympics and stuff. You know, he's back blowing a spleef with Bob Urich. Like, you better yeah. gonna know we're here. You know, and he goes, no, no, no. We, we got to go down the hill. Find the supermarket. See, and I'm buy like you. That, that is amazing like, etiquette. I would not get Pat no, O'Brien. Like, why do we don't right. have to buy him a bottle of wine? He's got a stocked bar. He invited right. us to his party. No, we don't show up. Go down the hill, buy like a hundred and ten dollar bottle of wine. Back when we didn't have much money, I said, like, <laughs> "Man, I'm going in halves." He's on that. Get the bottle of wine. We go up the hill. Meat. We're coming in. Meatloaf is walking in. The time <laughs> now. We have the bottle of wine. Wait, it's the singer Meatloaf, meatloaf is, is okay. walking in. No, by the way, empty-handed. <laughs> nothing, yeah. nothing. What but, a jerk! Nothing off. but man tits. It's not, that's all he brought. All he brought was man tits to the party. Nothing else. That's the name of his dog, by the way. That's not not, not being pejorative. Yeah. <laughs> so we come walking in, and then I'm in like old North Hollywood cheap Corolla mode, you know. Right. So we come walking in, and the woman that opens the door is like, "Oh, I'll take that bottle." Like, no, no, we'll we'll. Well, where's Pat? Well, he's in the back. Well, we'll uh, just set it at the bar. No, no, we're not going to get credit if we just set it at the bar. I got to go find Pat. We're going to hand it no, to him. No, absolutely. You better get credit at that point. Oh, no, yeah. but Jimmy doesn't care. No, no, no give it to her. Because he's just being decent, right? He's just decent. He's the most decent guy I've ever met. Absolutely. You know, it, it, during that meeting, I might have shared this with you since then, but I knew y you guys were funny like, sometimes, like, I hold this to be uh, true with, with most comics. You could hear a guy say one thing, one joke, and you know, that's a funny person. Or that's somebody that is funny that I would like to hang out with. In that meeting, we were talking about comedy in general, and you said, uh, you were talking about, uh, like, uh, if someone thinks the, the show Murphy Brown is funnier than The Simpsons. Right. You, like, you just like to sit down and explain to them, no, listen, and the, I, I think The Simpsons is funnier. And they go, well, you know, it's comedy's a matter of opinion. You're like, no, 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 in this case, it's not. not at all. <laughs> right. You're wrong. <laughs> I, I, if there was some sort of mathematical formula where I could show you every time The Simpsons would end up funnier than Murphy I, Brown. I'd yell at my mom about that. <laughs> right, now, the way you explained <laughs> it, I remember it was very funny. But... You know what I hate about being a comedian is you don't get to be an expert. Yeah. You know, even though you've been doing it for 25 years and this is your thing, we have wine experts. Yeah. We have <laughs> culinary experts. No one argues with them. We have right. guys judging dogs and we don't go, you don't know F about schnauzers. Get out of my face. There's experts, you know. But then when you become a comedian, you go, I think this show is very well written. They go, well, that's just. And by the way, this is the chick who works at the Fluff and Fold. Of course. That's just your yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Yeah, my uh, thing is, like, you're an ass. No, I don't really, need your opinion. Really, it makes it, the comedians still get no respect. We are like the roof, the gutter cleaners of show business. Yes. Now, we, we, we read on your show that the top ten grossing comics uh, of last year, I guess this, this list came out. If you guys please print that out, because I want to discuss that more. Russell Peters is on it. Ron White, one of the... Uh, uh, I guess, the, what is it, the uh, blue-collar blue collar. guys. Yeah. But, I mean, the amounts, Jeff Dunham, now you said you met him, the, the ventriloquist. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, $19 too, million. Dollars. Once you make over $10 million, don't yeah. you get out of the blue-collar realm? 
<laughs> I'd say you're in the white collar. Maybe you don't have a pocket square. Yeah, how or dare he? But he's, the, all the blue collar guys make ten million plus. But Larry, a year. the cable guy, is still making fifteen million dollars a year. Like who? Like so, generations are are, yeah. are passing that on to other generations. Yeah, that already is... said something really funny on uh, on stage at Caroline's when we were doing my podcast. It was top grossing comedians and. He just heard grossest comedians, and he said, "Well, I'm definitely in. This is one list. <laughs> is it the top? Is I'm it the finally gross, gonna make a list. Top ten grossest <laughs> comics. No, I'd love to make that list. But, but again, uh, the Mexican kid, the, the enormous uh, obese Mexican kid. Oh yeah, Gabriela Iglesias. Iglesias. Uh, He's like fluffy. That. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kevin Hart. Yep. And then uh, who was number ten? That number ten was I didn't I didn't heard of most of them. Yeah. Well, it's a lot Rus of ethnic. People. Russell Peters, yeah. right? Indian. It's weird. It's, it's a weird thing in 2013 where you go, well, this guy's not as funny as that guy, but we share some heritage. So I'm going to go <laughs> no, watch him go. be slightly yeah. less funny than the other guy who I don't share any blood with. It's not like he's coming back. You're coming to his apartment. He's cooking Indian right. food for all of you. <laughs> he's gonna go bang a stewardess and move on to his next stadium. I guess you know? it's just like, look, I'm gonna just blindly support the guy. There's a lot of that. Yeah. And so you know the thing about. So maybe I should call myself like an Italian American comic or something. Nah, but then you you got to go against dice. You know what I mean? You got to find your own thing. <laughs> he's Jewish. Oh, that's right. I'd have to really? point that out every time. I forget. Yeah. He's yeah. Jewish, yeah. Huh. yeah. Andrew Silverstein. You never knew that. Yeah, like, that, that, but that's his religion. Did we? Did we arrive? Yes, so, at what the, does that mean? Did we arrive at whether you can't it's be a race Jewish and Italian? <laughs> no, Judaism is a race. Okay, it is. I, I, it, it is a race. It's a race. Yeah, I know it's that it's we like had. We, it's its own thing. <laughs> it's its own thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, wondering about. Gonna take that. a break, and we'll finish out the hour with Adam Carolla, Mangria. Go get that as soon as you can. Welcome back to the Audio Lag Show. Sitting here with the great Adam Carolla. So, yeah, so not only did he invent this uh, mangria, now we're getting different flavors. Mm. We have a white peach and pear mangria. Yes, that, yes, that's what you're do. pushing here. Yeah. Now, how did that come up? Um, you just been experimenting in the... Yeah, you know, when something gets successful and people <laughs> people want it, so you go, all right, let's give them, let's give them more. It's I don't impressive. Know, how, how did Cirque du Soleil get going, you know? <laughs> how did someone say, let's put this underwater? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this, now, let's do it to the Bee Gees. Yeah, so, so you're going to be tomorrow, You're gonna, what do you do, sign the bottle or something? Yeah, go out to the uh, liquor store, the, <laughs> store or the market, whatever, and I stand there and I take pictures and I sign bottles and I do it, man. <laughs> Boots on the ground. That is it, man. Joe Canal. <laughs> see, see, you know, you know you're a guy who didn't grow up with money. Like, you no. Know, like, like, like you, you like money. You appreciate it. I, You know what? My feeling is, first off, <laughs> I used to work. You yeah. know what I mean? I used to I tear mean, roofs off of I always say to people, and, I, I haven't done a day's work since I was 26 when I made Yeah, I, I remember what it was like to work uh, with weather like it is now, to work outside, be Brutal. up on the roof, yeah. doing demo, you know, but knocking out stucco and so you did hardcore construction. Absolutely. Yeah. I did earthquake rehab work. So I'd be crawling under condemned oh. buildings in downtown LA and I digging. I can imagine LA is probably a huge business. That's right. Yeah. Right. Oh, it was, oh, dead rats and cats and it was horrible. So now An open gas line. <laughs> now they want me just to go to a liquor store and take some pictures and sign some Mangria bottles. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow you're going to Joe Canal's Discount Liquor, 489, 489 Route 1 South in Island, New Jersey. Uh, July 20th, you're at the Wine Library, 586 Morris Avenue in Springfield, New Jersey. And July 21st, Little Times Square, uh, 249 West 49th Street in New York. By the way, you... Kimmel's uh, on his uh, honeymoon right now, and P. Did P. Diddy's yacht in the south of France, and Get I'll be here. down in New Jersey haunting <laughs> Maria. Is he really on P. Diddy's yacht? Uh, no. I was going to say, maybe he is. Who knows? <laughs> Probably better than that. So what? give me give me the give me the celebrities at his... Uh, so Aniston, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon. Is, is yeah. it get bigger than Howard? Sure. Does it get bigger than those guys? Ellen and Portia, and then, you know, a bunch of, like, heavy hitters. Now, you how know. Did, did, did Howard and Ellen get along? Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. that that's got to be, again. Why? What? Well, you know, Howard has been, you know, over the years kind of hard on Ellen. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, uh, you know, uh, real hard. But I don't know, maybe uh, he's made up with her. I don't know. But but uh, that would be, the, God, I would love to see that at a the, wedding. The tables, I don't think their tables were that yeah. close. The tables weren't talking. <laughs> so now, he invited, he invited a, a lot of high-powered 
folks just to try to ingratiate himself. No, I don't think, How see, but dare that's you? Not, right? See, but that's I wouldn't thing. have been there if that's you, what he's trying to do. You would think that's true, but like the point we're making about him, no, he really is friends with them. No, he mm. definitely is. And Although I that, thought I was friendly with him. I thought, I mean, I he's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, I guess. No, no, Artie, I, I, he said he was going to limit it to just 700 <laughs> of his closest <laughs> friends. So it was a, it, it was, yeah, I would I wouldn't call missed. it intimate, but obviously there's a cutoff at some point, you know. Wait, what about Tom Cruise? No, I, Cruise he's wasn't. friends with Tom Cruise, right? Cruise wasn't wasn't there. No, I don't know. He's in Prague shooting Mission Impossible one 14. <laughs> one time, I felt so bad for him because one time he was on Howard, and I have a story about shooting a movie with Tom Cruise where, you know, I got cut out of Jerry Maguire, and I thought Tom Cruise treated me like an a-hole, and we were on Howard together, and Jimmy kept, like, defending Tom Cruise, and I'm like, no, he's a jerk off, like, the digging my coffin. Right. That's why you're here, and he's on P. Diddy's boat. Exactly right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, sorry for being honest. <laughs> uh, all right, so, uh, well, listen, man, thanks for coming in. Always I know you're busy. Pleasure. And, uh, again, Joe Canal's Discount Liquor, 49 Route 1 South in Isla, New Jersey. Uh, July 20th, the Wine Library, 586 Mars Ave, Springfield, July 21st, Lily's Times Square, 249 West. 49th. And more Caroline shows and more, coming up, too. Now, are you uh, there all week? Yeah. You're yeah, we're we'll doing the uh, Friday night, Saturday night, two shows. You should go check it out because it really is. I'm sure tonight was sold out, right? That, yeah. In fact, it was. Uh, it's 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 an electric crowd. It's kind of cool, and uh, it's a good crew you got there. Who's who's the broad you work with, Allison? Something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's good. I like yeah, her. Yeah, she's good. Brian's good. You're great. Oh, I mean, gosh. you're just great. You know, it's it's really nice to know we're wrapping out. But when I want to walk out on stage, I flew out of L.A. at six yeah, this yeah, morning. Yeah. I went right. Artie's there. Thank Christ. I don't <laughs> have to work that hard. I appreciate it, man. Well. Uh, uh, listen, uh, much uh, much more good fortune, my brother. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Adam Carolla, and we'll be back after this.